friends, how are you? I, Dr. Kothari, welcome you again in my YouTube channel, e Research Academy. Friends, I hope you all are safe and are doing great in your life. So friends, today's topic is a straight line train, its method of measurement. And the first method that is graphic method. So friends, here in this video or lecture, we are discussing how by graphic method, uh, the straight line trend is confirmed. Okay, so we have a question here. We are asked to fit the trend line by freehand method. This method is also known as the freehand method. If it is asked in examination, just uh, find the trend line by freehand method. It means it is simply the straight line trend by graphic method. Okay. So under graphic method, there are two methods. First one is, sorry, under uh, this one is straight line. First one is the graphic method. Second one is the semi-average method. And third one is the least square. Okay. So this is the first one by the graphic method. So we are asked to fit the trend line by freehand method here. And we are given the years and the production in million tons. Okay. For these years. So years are from 11, 2011 to 2016 and their corresponding uh, production in tons. Okay. So with the help of these years and their production, we have to find out a, a straight line trend by freehand method. Okay. Though this is this is presented in a graph, that is why known as the graphic method. Okay. So here we are going to just plot these data in the graph. Okay. So we have two horizon here. That is the the, the origin. This is y axis and this is the x axis. In the y axis we have the production. It is production. Okay. And in x-axis, this is time horizon and these are the years. Okay. So years are from 2011 to 2016 and the production is from, from 2100 to 2060, 150. Okay. These are the production. So this is very, very simple method to, to find out the trend line. And by this trend line, we simply predict or estimate the future value of this series. Okay. Uh, so let's start. Uh, our origin is this one, and our first data is from 2011, and this is our 2011. Say so this is 100. This one is 100. In 2011, our production is 100 ton. Okay. So we will start from this point. Right. Okay. So. Then we will move for the next year. So next year is 2012. This is 2012 and our production is 120 tons. Okay, this is 120. This is our origin, say, of the series 2011. And for 2010, 12, our production is this one. Okay, just above 2012 and in front of 120. Okay, so this one. This point is our production. Okay, so our production is 120. We are simply marking it first. Then for 2013, our production is 105 10. 105. So 105 falls between 110 and 100. This is somewhere here. Okay, uh, this will be somewhere here. Okay, this one. About 2013. Okay, and in front of 105. Okay, so this will be our second point. This one, right? About 2013. So this is the exact one. Next, 2014. This is 140. For 2014, that's above to 2014. And in front of 140, we will have to mark a point here. That is this one. In front of 140 and above to 140. So 2014. In 2015, we have a production 125 ton. 2015, 125. So this is our 125 in between 130 and 120. And go ahead, go ahead to 150. Okay, 2015. Okay, this point. 2015. Right. Finally, in 2016, our production goes up. And it is 150, 150 ton. So this is our 150 and this is our 2016, right? So now we have 
marked or plotted all the points presenting this production for these years. Done? What we need to do? Now we need to just connect these points simply by this way. Sorry. Okay. Just connect these points. Now we have connected these points. Okay. Now the final steps starts. And this is totally based on the judgments or or personal, you can say, experience or judgments of the statisticians or the person who is just using this graphic method or graphical method for estimating the value or predicting the value. Okay. Now, the rule of thumb is we have to draw a straight line or a line that best fit to these, these points or this graph. Okay. We need to keep our, in our mind that the straight line must be in between to the upper point as well as to the lower point. Okay means it must be represented to the all points of this this graph right so let's start i am just uh, making a smooth curve or line by simply uh, following the dots line like this from here i am starting this way This one is my straight line. Okay. So if you see it, you will find this is represented into lower points as well as the upper points. Okay. And we can also draw it somewhere above to this one, like uh, like this. Okay, as I was just mentioning, this is totally on the basis of the personal judgments of the personal judgments of the statistician. Okay, but whatever the line you draw, it must be represented to the upper as well as lower points of this actual data. Right? So either of the line can be known as the line drawn by the freehand method or a straight line method or simply the straight line trait. Okay. So students or friends, by this way, we predict the value for the future years, say 2019, 20, 25 and so on. Okay. Because we will, we will extend this line. Okay. Toward these years and we can simply predict the value of these years. Right. So this was the method of the straight line train. The first one was the graphic method. So thank you for watching this video. Okay, if you have any doubts or query, you please just give your comment. Okay, and have a nice day ahead. God bless you.